Hey everybody, this is TJ Brownfield with FatKings.com and the Fat Kings Podcast. This is part two of the two-part series on how to do a video podcast. Now before I start, we're going to cover the Premiere Pro. I am not a Premiere Pro professional, so I just started using the software about a month ago um, to help with the editing on the Fat Kings shows. Uh, how I've learned it is by clicking on things and seeing what they do. So the way I do it might not be the best way to do it, or in some circumstances it might even be incorrect. So I apologize ahead of time, but hopefully this will uh, help get you on your way, give you a basic understanding, um, and then uh, you know just get you started on the video podcasting and editing. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we have the opening screen of Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to create a new project if you don't already have one. Um, you know, select your uh, capture type, HDV or DV. Um, you'll set all, all of your uh, information here, your location for your actual project folder. Um, on this, we'll just call it FKL4 since we are editing the Fat Kings episode number four, or Fat Kings Light episode number four. We'll say OK here. The next screen is going to um, ask you, well, what, what format do you want to use? So we are going to go with HDV. We're going to go with 720. We're going to go with 30 frames per second. Really, um, his is 15, mine is 30. It kind of mixes things up here. But whenever we export, we can correct a lot of this. So um, we'll select that and we'll say OK. OK, now once uh, your project is created, you're in here. you got a default sequence. Uh, you want to double click on your sequence. Uh, that way it gets all of your uh, editing frames up. So uh, before we begin editing, we need to get our files in here. So we will go to File. We will go to Import, Episode number 4. Um, all I'm doing is dragging and dropping over them all. You can do Control A. That's going to select everything. You're going to say Open, and it opens these up. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to drop in our background. So this is... Um, the background for the show. I'm going to come up here, click on it. All I'm doing is dragging and resizing it. And we can correct that a little bit later, make sure it's set up. Okay, next I'm going to need to put my video in. And then um, I'm going to do the same. Oops. Control Z will undo your last. I'm kind of fit this to the screen as well. All right, and then finally, we'll put fill in. And Phil's is, is already a good size, so I don't need to edit his. All right, so now we got the beginnings of our file set. Um, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, crop out all the areas that we don't want, and then we're going to key out the green screen. Uh, so this is the green screen portion of it. That seems to get a lot of people excited, but I hate green screen in a sense because it, sometimes it can be real difficult to properly key out all the areas. So down here on the left-hand side, we're going to go to Video Effects. We're going to go to key and then we're going to go to our garbage mats um, you can also type in here if you just start typing in garbage you'll bring them up i use an eight point garbage mat just because those points work for me you can use an eight point a four point they got a 16 point uh, just whatever's going to work for your circumstances i'm going to uh, shift click on both of these so they're both selected so i can apply the king to both of them at the same time drag and drop my eight point garbage mat then we'll go down to Ultra Key. I'm going to drag and drop that on there as well. Okay. Now we want to edit these um, individually. So I click over here in this blank area just to deselect, go back. I'm going to select me and work on me first. We'll go up here to the Effects Control. We're going to click on the 8-point garbage mat that you see here. And we're going to bring these corners. Oops. Bring this down. Okay, so we're going to bring these corners in. And what Garbage Mat does is it lets you easily get rid of kind of all your surroundings, right? Things that you just don't need. Um, it comes really in big time handy whenever you're doing green screen. All right, so now I have me all uh, garbage matted out. I'm sure I use improper English, but such is life. Next, we need to key, key out the green area. So we're going to come back over here to our effects control area. We'll click the little swivel, uh, select the dropper tool next to key color and we will select a color and have it key out. So as you can see it keyed most of it out. Sometimes you might have to take the dropper a couple times and find a good area that keys out 
the most area the the most amount of green area um sorry i had to escape there uh, generally you want to kind of take a darker section of it and now uh, we we have a pretty good keying going on so from here we need to clean up this key because you'll see there's ghosted area around me uh, the way to best to find that area, see it the easiest, is come up here to your output channel and go to alpha. And this will let you really see all the areas that have not been keyed out. So from here to clean it up, we're going to go to the mat generation. We're going to go to pedestal and then ice crank it up to 100. <laughs> That's kind of uh, the easiest way to get rid of it. So as you can see here, that pretty much took everything away. Um, if you have a few edges, you come here to mat clean up and you can choke it in a little bit uh, or out a little bit depending on um, what your needs are. Uh, generally, you'll want to soften the edges. Like I'll give it like a uh, like three maybe just so it blends a little bit better into the background. It's not such a harsh, uh, a harsh contrast. Uh, so to see where we're at, we come back here to our output, go to composite, and I'm looking pretty all right there. Um, you can always hit your space bar to play through it. Now, as you see here, you see this like scrambling of colors. And what that is, is that it's cropping out that area or it's keying out that area. So to fix this, what I do is I come back over here into my mat cleanup, go to contrast, and I turn my contrast all the way up. And as you can see now, I'm a nice solid color, my shirt is. And that looks pretty good. There might be a little bit more editing that I need to do. And now we're going to repeat the same process for fill side. Now, once you have everything cropped out, you can move wherever you want. You can put your, your assets, your objects, whatever you want to call them, anywhere on the screen that you want. If you accidentally bump it, just hit Control Z, and that's going to undo the last. So. You know, I'm going to hit Control Z a few times and it puts me where I had this before. Now, generally, I'll use um, the light areas to frame us in. I'll bring this down just a bit, maybe over a bit. Okay. Grab me. I'm going to move me over just a bit. Oh, my mic's sticking up there. Okay. So there we go. So now we're pretty much in place and now we're going to start editing it together. Okay, so now in the edit areas, I already have myself cropped out where I want to be at. So I already have my edit there. So I'm going to start with Phil's edit. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to open up audio. So your bottom tracks down here are, to, are your audio for your video tracks up top. So um, I use these to edit because whenever I, you come in close, you can see where the voices stop and start. And so I can see where he's going to start. Where the big jump is, is right where he starts. So I'm going to go back. Okay. Now, you can either hit C and cut that area, or what I like to do, if you have multiple layers and you want to cut them all in the same place, you go Control shift k and that cuts everything. Now I have my, my cut tool selected. I'm going to hit V, and V is going to give me back my pointer. I select that. I hit Delete. And now that's cut. So then I'm going to find my spot where I want to put mine in. Okay, so right there is where Phil says I'm Phil Olson. And you can see here down at the bottom where it trails off. I'm going to put just a little space there. This zooms in and out of my work area. So I'm going to grab me and pull me over to right there. Make sure everything lines up, and now I'm good to go. Okay, then I repeat this process, and I, and I cut and trim until I get to a point where I'm happy with it, and then we'll go to the export. All right, I had just one thing I wanted to show you guys here, and that is if, because your audio and, and your video is connected, so whenever I move it around, or if, if I want to delete the video out so there's less for the software to, to deal with, I'm going to want to separate these two. So to separate them, it's pretty easy. All you do is you're going to click on the file, right click, and say unlink. And now my video and my audio are no longer linked. And you can do that vice versa. So if I want to link video to audio, shift click. So I select them both, click, and I hit link. And then they're linked back together again. Um, so in this case, I want to make sure, okay, so they're unlinked. 
and I want to remove this video. So the video is gone, but the audio still remains. All right, so the next thing I want to show you here is how to do a fade effect. So a fade effect uh, is pretty easy. All you do is you're going to select uh, the item that you want to fade in, and you're going to hit your little swivel and click on keyframe. Okay, then you'll come to the end of that frame. Make sure you're right at the end of it. Oh. Okay. And then you're gonna hit keyframe again. And then you're gonna grab your last keyframe, you're gonna drag it down. So now what you're gonna see is that it's gonna fade out. Okay. So about in here, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna drag this in, and I'm gonna fade them in. So All right, so that's pretty much how you do a fade in effect. All right, so I have all the editing done here and um, I'll kind of scrub through it and, and make sure that everything seems look okay. There's no big breaks. And then we will want, we want to ex export it. So we go to file up in the top left hand corner, export media. And then from here, you're going to want to select uh, how you're going to export it. I already have my export set up as far as my dimensions go. Um, so as you see here, I have a, a cropping. I have a crop set up here. Uh, so I need to crop out, crop this out to where it's it fits in where I want to go. So now I have a problem, right? So now I see that my background is way, way, way above this. So I have two options. I can either move this up, which is fine to do. Um, or you can go back into your, um, into your project here and select your background and move it down. Maybe here, go back into uh, file export media and see how this fits in. Now this just isn't fitting in well here. So, I like to bear where it was at. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna hit Control, Control Z. Go back in here. I'm gonna export it, but I'm going to increase my export size. So go here, go here. It doesn't really matter because we use a widescreen format, so it puts black bars at the bottom and at the top. The reason we use that is because we have ads run during the show, and uh, the banners will frequently come up and and take up the space. So. Um, next we have our export settings. Uh, the custom, the only reason it's custom is because I use the crop tool. Otherwise, um, I believe we use just the YouTube widescreen HD. So you can select that um, and go from there. Your bit rate, you can mess with a bit. The higher the bit rate, the bigger the file. Uh, really 32 is probably a good frequency on your audio. I leave it at 44. Um, down here, use maximum render quality and use frame uh, blending. You can put those on if you want a little better quality, but it's going to greatly increase the time it takes to export. So if you have a problem with exporting, um, sorry, I'm just going to mess this a little bit. If you have a problem with exporting um, as far as the time it takes or you don't have enough memory to export, that way take those out and see. And then um, you'll select your output name, select where you're going to put it. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to this I'm going to say FKL4 for Fat King's Light episode number four save and then hit export and it's going to come up and it'll go through the encoding sequence it'll tell you how long it's going to take and uh, you're good to go so uh, we didn't get into uploading this time uh, maybe I'll do another video chances are everybody knows how to upload to YouTube or we use blip TV um, I might do another tutorial on um, setting up an iTunes feed because a lot of people are interested in that but uh, hopefully this gets you on your way and you enjoyed it and I'd love to hear some feedback and everybody have a good rest of the day thanks